Hi, welcome back to Mom of Four Boys. Today, I am going to build a busy board, I'm told, for little Isaac. Uh, and it's a board that has a lot of little activities on it and hardware things that uh, helps him with dexterity and pushing buttons and things like that. So, I'm gonna tell you what I bought to make it and uh, what it cost. I got it all new at Lowe's. Uh, I guess you could use parts you have around the house of things if you liked. But uh, I, thought I, I thought I'd just buy new stuff and get it all at one time. So the first thing I got is I got a piece of wood that is three foot by about 20 some inches. And uh, it is uh, glued, edge glued pine, uh, probably for a little tabletop is what it was for. It was $17.31. And then I got a swivel caster with a, with a rubber wheel cover sort of on it so it won't hurt his hands. That was $5.88. I got a chain lock and that was $3.98. I got a swivel lock. Once you latch it, it turns and locks. Uh, that was $5.08. I got three eye bolts that I'm going to put through there and I'm going to hook carabiners on with different colored strings uh, for him to play with. And uh, they were $0.64 cents each. I got a, a hook and eye latch. Uh, like for a gate, uh, that was 348. I got a barrel bolt, that was 268. I got two of the springy type door stops, uh, they were 258 each. I got one set of more non mortise hinges that's going to connect uh, the boards together, and I'll show you that in a minute. I got a strap hinge for him to, I'll just connect one side down, he can lift the other side up and down and close it and open it. And then we're going to have a couple of push lights on it that are battery operated. Uh, they push and click pretty easy, so for a little guy like him, they should be just fine. Uh, let's see here. And so the total was $73.17. Uh, sounds like a lot, but, but uh, um, I'm going to make this a two-sided busy board, uh, which will cost me just a little bit more money, but not much later on when Isaac gets a little bit older. Uh, and I don't have to worry about him swallowing such small things. But So I've already drawn my center line. I'm going to cut the board in half here in a moment. I will take the non-mortise hinges and I will put those at the top to secure the board together. I'll take another uh, board on each side. I'll cut a notch in one end and I will uh, screw it to one side of the board. And I'll have a uh, screw on the other side or a bolt that, will, that uh, will, it will latch onto to make it stay open in the shape of an A. And then you can... Uh, undo those and fold those down to close it up whenever you're not using it if you like and uh, on the back side of it I will eventually uh, put probably a metal cookie sheet a steel cookie sheet of some form that I will uh, attach onto here and I will let him play with magnetiles uh, anything big enough that he can't swallow and then when he gets a little bit older we'll start using magnetic letters so he can spell words so uh, I'm not going to paint this just right yet because I don't want him scraping paint off and putting it in his mouth. I'd just rather it just stay plain and uh, and maybe later on if I like I can I can uh, hit it with some clear polyurethane or anything like that but not while he's so young. I just want to keep it plain and simple. So I'm going to go cut this board in half and the next thing you see I will have that ready to start laying out my activities for him and uh, and then we'll figure out how we're uh, going to place them and uh, make the marks, decide how many screws we're going to put in each thing. And I'll show it to you when I've got the, uh, after that step, I'll show you the next step when I have everything mounted on it. And when it's sort of put together, and then we'll have a finished product and we'll let you see how he likes it. So we will see you soon. Stay tuned, won't you? Hi and welcome back. Uh, I've got my board cut in half. I've got the edges sanded and I've got my non-mortise hinges installed. I pre-drilled the fifth and sixth hole uh, with these small drill bits. It's just a, sh a little bit smaller than the shaft of the screw. Uh, I'm going to reserve the other two screws per hinge in case I need them to mount any hardware that didn't come with screws. I don't think I need six screws per hinge, but if I do, I just put them in and go get some more screws. Okay, I'm going to fold this in half, uh, close it up, here in a minute, and I'm going to start laying out the busy board activities for little Isaac. See you soon. 
Okay, we're back and I've kind of laid out some of the gadgets on the busy board. I've got uh, some lights and uh, door stops or anything. Uh, nothing is attached yet, so I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna show uh, my wife and see uh, what she thinks of the arrangement. If she's happy with it, then we'll start measuring and, and uh, putting things on and we'll have it ready for use before you know it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to add something that we decided to do. We, we decided to uh, put a piece of wood on the ends on both sides to make this more stable so it can't fall uh, flat while he's playing or while he's crawling through it. Uh, we put one of those on each side and I thought I'd show you um, how I can take this apart and if we ever decide to store this or whatever else uh, I can take this apart and fold it up. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take it apart now and get my drill and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take one of these out. Take this one out, the front one here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna I can take and push this, I can loosen this, this up a little bit. And I can just put this like this. If I wanted to. And then I can do the same with the other side. I can actually take this screw out if I wanted to. I'll just take it out from there. Take the screw out. And then I'll do the other side the same way. Loosen this just a hair. This out. Put this up here like this, and then I can fold this flat and slide it. Put it in a bag or slide it away or something to be out of. Out of uh, you know, if I wanted to store this for a later a later time or you know just to store it. Um, so it's just this simple. All right, here we are, everybody. Isaac's got his busy board. Give it a try. See what you think. Now there's going to be some colored carabiners down at the bottom on the three eye hooks for him to choose colors and things. Make your lights go. Oh, look at that. Lights and hooks and, and your door stoppers. Watch here. Good boy. Make your, how about turn the light on? Try your light. You like the caster? Dad, I don't know what a caster is. It's nice because you can also lay it flat because it's hinged. And he can just sit there and play with everything on there that he wants if he doesn't want to sit up with it. There isn't anything sharp on there that can hurt him. The uh, the eye bolt and hook latch, that's not sharp on the end. The caster has a rubber on the wheel. Uh, there isn't anything on there that he can hurt or that can really hurt him. So uh, we'll see how he enjoys exploring it. Look at that. Here you go. You turned your light on. I think with your knee. He, he learned how to use tap lights pretty quick with that. And they're just got batteries in them so they're LED so they should last a long time. He seems to enjoy, be enjoying everything. Now later when he gets a little older, as I said, I'm gonna on the back side I'm gonna screw a a uh, a cookie sheet to it that's steel. I'm gonna put magnetic letters on it when I'm certain that he can't swallow any of the letters. But right now we'll just uh, I will be making something to make it stand up in the shape of an A, or it can lay flat, or it can fold away. But he seems to like it. So far he likes everything about it. So for now, we'll say it's a big hit. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, God bless you all, and uh, we look forward to seeing you the next time.
Tell your friends about us, won't you? God bless.